Hi everyone, we're going to be learning about how to convert from degrees to radians, which if you remember from the Prezi, there are not just one way to measure an angle, there are two ways. One way is with degrees, which is what you're probably used to seeing. Another way to measure an angle is in radians. Okay, which I'm going to go back to the Prezi to kind of recap what that is. So, Radian. So radian, if you have an angle whose arc length is equal to the same length as the radius, that angle is one radian. So when we're measuring in radians, you're kind of measuring in lengths of the radius. So it tells you how many of the radius you are working with in terms of that angle. So when you think radian, think of a radius. Okay, which we talked about this on the Prezi, but in one full rotation, there are 360 degrees. Okay, and there are, there are two pi radians, which from the Prezi, I talked about how that comes from the circumference of a circle, which I simplified this down. I divided both sides by two to get one pi radians equals 180 degrees. So this is what we're going to be using to help us to convert from degrees to radians. Sounds fun, right? I know. All right, so we're going to be converting from degrees to radians, and the way we do that is by multiplying our degree by pi radians over 180 degrees, because for every pi radians, there are 180 degrees. And since degrees is in the denominator, our degrees will cancel out and we'll be left with radians. So this is our conversion that we're gonna be multiplying to our degree to get radians. All right, let's get going, you guys. It's gonna be super fun. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my 30 degrees. Should we'll zoom in on this one so we can see it a little better. So I'm going to start with my degrees, and all we're going to do is multiply that bad boy by pi radians over 180 degrees. And after we do that and simplify it down, we'll be done so, you guys. Let me try to make that a little clearer. Seems like it's a little blurry. There we go. That's a little better. All right, so first of all, the important thing we need to take away is that our degrees cancels out. We're trying to get rid of degrees. We don't want degrees anymore because I'm trying to convert to radians. The only unit I want left are radians, which currently, since my degrees canceled out, the units I'm left with are radians. Holy hot dog, right? I know you guys. All right, let's keep going. So since we have a fraction, I'm going to change 30 to be a fraction, which 30 is secretly over 1. And the way that we multiply fractions is to go straight across. So let's get going. All right, so this is going to be 30 pi radians over 180 degrees. And all I got to do is simple, oh, sorry, not degrees. Ah, we canceled out degrees. Sorry, guys. No degrees. No degrees. Take that back. Um, but anyways, from here, we just need to simplify this down. Okay, which remember, if you divide by 10, that will eliminate one of our zeros. So I've divided by 10. So I'm left with 3 over 18. So what is a number that divides into 3 and 18? <gasps> you guys are brilliant. It is 3. So I'm going to divide both of these by 3. All right, 3 divided by 3 is 1, but I still have a pi in my numerator. So I need to make sure I have a pi left over, which I did not space this out very well because I'm going to be running out of space like I normally do. Okay, so this will equal 3, or 3 divided by 3 is 1. So 1 pi or just pi, that's the same thing. So pi over 18 divided by 3 is 6. So this is pi over 6 radians. And typically, typically, you guys, radians will have a pi in the unit because we have to multiply by pi to convert to radians. So I'm not saying you can't have pi in order to be radians, but a lot of times when you convert to radians, your angle will have a pi in it. So that should be something you're familiar with. All right, so examples one is done. Example two is very similar to example one. So if you felt confident in example one, I highly encourage you try example two on your own. All right, let's get going on our second conversion problem. I'm excited. 